Here's our code from the previous video. I'll execute it and you can see we have our triangle on the screen. In this video I want to show you how to draw multiple triangles and how we can optimize that. So I'm actually going to go down here to draw arrays, build, compile, and run our program again. You can see I now have a black console window, or not, <laughs> it looks like a console window, doesn't it? It's, a, it's an OpenGL window, okay? And this time I think the triangles I'd like to draw will go from the upper left corner to the upper right corner and to the center. I'll just draw this instead of using my tricks. But I want to do two triangles, essentially one sitting on top of the other. Let me see if I can fill this in a little bit. So here's the top triangle, don't blink. There you go, I can color real fast. I want to do two triangles just like so. And hopefully you remember from the previous videos that OpenGL's coordinate system has an X and a Y here. Two dimensions, positive one in the X, positive one in the Y. That's a one right there. Here's a negative one in the Y and a negative one in the X. So in order to do these two triangles, my coordinates have to be, let's do a bright green. This is obviously zero, zero. This is one, one. This is negative one, one. So there is our first triangle. And then right here, this triangle again is zero, zero. And we can go either way. I can go to this corner first, then this one, or I could come to this one first, then this corner. Later, we'll have to see that we're consistent with our winding order, is what we call that. And winding order is important when it comes to culling, which is something I haven't talked about, so let's ignore that for now. I think let's wind the same direction in both of these triangles. So 0, 0, 1, 1, negative 1, and then again 0, 0, uh, negative 1, negative 1, and then this is 1, negative 1. So you can see that with this top triangle I'm winding counterclockwise, and in this bottom triangle I'm winding counterclockwise as well. That'll become more important later. Let's put these uh, coordinates into our game here. Not our game, our OpenGL program. Uh, let's get rid of these. Ooh, nice. They're still on the screen. So let me do plus 0, 0.0 float, plus 0, 0.0 float, and I'll put a space right here. Control L, Control V, 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 V. So now I have three triangles there. Uh, zero, 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 and then we want to go to one, one, that's this vertice right here, and then we want to go uh, negative one. Oh, I forgot my plus signs here. Hold down my alt key, drag the mouse down, put the plus signs in there, and then, oops, control L, control enter, and that should be good for the first triangle, Wait, negative one, one right here. Then the bottom triangle is again zero zero. Uh, negative one, negative one, and negative one again. That's this bottom left hand, left side <laughs> of the window vertice. And then we need to get one, negative one. So one, negative one. Now the only thing I need to change in our entire program, we're still creating the buffer, binding the buffer, sending the data down to the buffer. GL draw arrays. Remember right here this last argument, if I hit control shift space, it says, hey, how many how many vertices do you want me to draw? Well, we were drawing three this time. Let's draw six. Control F five, build and run. Of course we get build errors. Why do we get build errors? Linker, do I still have it open? I still have it open. I'm pretty good at doing that, leaving it open in the background. Let's try that again. And drum roll, please. Voila. There we go. There are our two triangles, um, one on top of the other. So next video, though, I'm going to show you how to optimize this a little bit. If you remember or recall, we're using or we're duplicating vertex information, which in this little small program isn't a bad thing, or it's not necessarily a bad thing, but but this vertex right here, the zero, zero vertex, I had to specify it twice. And if this vertex is shared amongst zillions of triangles, that's going to cause me to duplicate that information often. Or in a more typical scenario is 
we have a vertex that's shared amongst two, three, four, five triangles or something like that. But then most vertices on the entire uh, geometry that we're trying to render are shared that way as well. So we end up duplicating a lot of data multiple times to get several triangles to draw. In the next video I'm going to show you how to optimize that using indices, index buffers, that sort of thing.